Madam, I've just received some wondrous news regarding which I'd like to hear your views. What news? You're marrying Tartuffe. I find that father does have such a match in mind. Your father, madam? Has just as minute said that it's Tartuffe he wishes me to wed. Can he be serious? Oh, indeed he can. He's clearly set his heart upon the plan. And what position do you propose to take, madam? Why, I don't know. For heaven's sake, you don't know? No. Well, well. Advise me do. Marry the man. That's my advice to you. That's your advice? Yes. Truly? Oh, absolutely. You couldn't choose more wisely, more astutely. Thanks for this counsel. I'll follow it, of course. Do, do. I'm sure it will cause you no remorse. To give it didn't cause your heart to break. I gave it, madam, only for your sake. And it's for your sake that I take it, sir. Let's see which fool will prove the stubborner. So, I am nothing to you, and it was flat deception when you... Please, enough of that! You've told my plainly that I should agree to wed the man my father has chosen for me. And since you're designed to counsel me so wisely, I promise, sir, to do as you advise me. Ah, uh, no, it was not by me that you were swayed. No, your decision was already made. So now, to save appearances, you protest that you're betraying me at my behest. Just as you say. Quiet so, and I now see that you were never truly in love with me. Alice, you're free to think so if you choose. I choose to think so, and here's a bit of news. You've spurned my hand, but I know where to turn for kinder treatment, yeah, as you yeah. shall quickly learn. I'm sure you do. Your noble qualities inspire affection. Uh, forget my qualities, please. They don't inspire you over much, I find. But there's another lady I have in mind, whose sweet and generous nature will not scorn to compensate me for the loss I've borne. I'm no great loss. I'm sure that you'll transfer your heart quite painlessly from me to her. I'll do my best to take it in my stride. The pain I feel at being cast aside, time and forgetfulness may put an end to. Or if I can't forget, I shall pretend to. No self-respecting person is expected to go on loving one he's been rejected. Now, that's fine. High-minded sentiment. One to which any sane man would ascend. Would you prefer it if I spine away in hopeless passion till my dying day? Am I to yield you to a rival's arm and not console myself with other charms? Go then, console yourself. Don't hesitate. I wish you too. Indeed, I cannot wait. You wish me too? Yes. That's the final straw, madame. Farewell. You wish shall be my law. Splendid. This bridge, remember, is of your making. It's you who have driven me to the step I'm taking. Of course. Remember too that I am merely following your examples. Mm, I see that clearly. Enough. I'll go and do your bidding then. Good. You should never see my face again. Excellent. Yes? What? What's that? What do you say? Nothing. You're dreaming. Oh, well, I'm on my way. Farewell, madame. Farewell. If you ask me, both of you are as mad as can be. Do stop this nonsense now. I'll be only let you squab so long to see where it will get you. What wow, there, Monsieur Vallée? What is this, Doreen? Come here. No, no, my heart's too full of spleen. Do not hold me back. Her wish must be obeyed. Stop! It's too late now. My decision's made. Oh, poo. He hates the sight of me. That's plain. I'll go, and so deliver him from pain. And now you run away. Come back! No, no. Nothing you'll say will keep me here. Let go. She cannot bear my presence, I perceive. To spare her further torment, I shall live. Again? You will not escape, sir. Don't you try it? Come here, you two. Stop using and be quiet. What do you want of me? What is the point of this? We are going to have a little armistice. Now, weren't you silly to get so overheated? Didn't you see how badly I was treated? Aren't you a simpleton to have lost your head? Didn't you hear the hateful things he said? You are both great fools. Her soul desire valet. It's to be yours in marriage. To that I'll swear, he loves you only, and he wants no wife but you, Marin, and that I'll stake my life. Then you advise me so. I cannot see. On such a question, why ask advice of me? 
all. You are impossible. Give me your hands, you too. You're first. But why? And now a hand from you. What you doing? There, a perfect fit. You suit each other better than you will admit. Oh, come. Don't be so hungry. Give a man a look of kindness, won't you, Marianne? I tell you, lovers are completely mad. 